Hello students, let's discuss what is joints, keys and water cells. First, let's discuss what are the joints are. See, uh, the entire work of dam or entire construction of a whole dam cannot be completed in one stretch. We have to give and we have to uh, divide. We have to done the design part. We have to done the construction part of this gravity dam in various stages because the length of the dam is too high, too high and too long. Uh, we, we, we can say that this is too and the length of the dam is too high. So, when we construct that gravity dam in various stages, we have to provide various joints in between the part of a gravity dam. So, basically we have a two joints, construction joints and contraction joints. So, let's discuss what is construction joints are. This joints usually called as a horizontal joints and which are necessary to complete the construction work of a gravity dam in various or this helps or this connects the various stages of a gravity dam or it looks like a one stretch of a construction of a gravity dam. So construction joint it is also called as a horizontal joints and it, it is very much necessary when the construction is not or cannot be possible to complete in a one stretch we have to uh, done the concreting in a various stages in that part the construction joints are necessary. In solid gravity dam the height between horizontal joints is usually limited to about 1.5 meter. It is generally limited. This construction joints should be limited up to a height of or uh, uh, which is limited up to 1.5 meter. And this height between two successive construction joints is known as lift. See, again, there is a, another technical term in construction joint when the limit of the height is uh, restricted up to 1.5. And when this height oh. between the two successive construction joint is known as a lift. And this height is limited to the necessity of providing sufficient cooling between the ports. Concrete after pouring uh, releases the lots of energy, lots of temperature that we had all studied in the concrete technology part also. Shrinkage, after shrinkage of a concrete, it uh, resist or it uh, not resist, it um, uh, give a, a tremendous energy tremendous temperature in the nature or in the atmosphere so it is necessary to cool that part so this height is limited why this height is limited because it necessary to provide the sufficient cooling between the pores for the first layer immediately on the rock half the 1.5 divided by 2 the half of this amount that is 0 0.75 meter height is adopted just above the rock and just uh, the foundation work will start the height will be adopted as 0 0.75 meter this is adopted as the lift the modern treatment on the surface and good concrete create an automatic watertight horizontal joints and as at such no provisions such as water stops or keyways, etc., are made in the horizontal joints. 
the contraction joints though provided for different purposes also serve as construction joints so construction joints are basically a horizontal joints and its height is restricted up to 1.5 meter and the this height between the two successive horizontal joint is known as a lift basically uh, above the uh, rock area and above the uh, when the foundation is started uh, at this section we adopt the construction joint as a 0.75 in uh, 75 meter in a height so this type of a joint helps or helps to uh, construct or helps to join various stages of a gravity tank then we have a, another joint that is contraction joint so the contraction joints are mainly provided to avoid cracks caused due to the shrinkage of a concrete due to temperature changes yes just i just now i told you that concrete uh, after shrinking or after shrinkage of the concrete the various temperature changes occur and for the pre cooling area uh, we had uh, adopted the height of a construction joint and we are limited that height of a construction joint but contraction joints are generally provided to avoid cracks which are formed because of the shrinkage of a concrete uh, it, because the various temperature changes are there the number of cracks and their size can also be controlled to some extent by controlled temperature of concrete while setting and curing contraction joints are of two types transverse joints and longitudinal joints depending upon the plane in which they lie so generally the contraction joints again subdivided into a two types that is a transverse and longitudinal joints so here you can see the horizontal part uh, the horizontal line is nothing but a longitudinal joints and the vertical is nothing but a transverse joints so here here uh, some specifications are given the transverse joints are provided normal to the axis of a dam it is provided normal to the axis of a dam they are provided to prevent haphazard transverse cracks due to the contraction of a concrete the spacing of such joints depends upon the number of factors including the position of a structure and the topographic features of a dam site generally the spacing of a joint uh, will be restricted up to 15 meter or the height of a dam whichever is the less if we are adopting the low gravity dam then the height is generally uh, is less than 90 meter 90 meter and the 90 meter so certainly sometimes the height of a dam is uh, about 45 meter and here uh, by doing a general practice uh, they come to know that the uh, transfer joint spacing should be restricted up to 15 meter so 15 meter and 45 meter whichever is the lesser so this uh, height should be or the spacing of uh, the joint will be adopted so obviously the 15 meter is the lesser one so the value is uh, always keep uh, or always equal to the 15 meter so these joints extend entirely through the structure entirely through the structures in order to ensure intimate contact for transmission of stresses transfer joints are consolidated either by grouting or by leaving a slot which is filled later when the monoliths have ceased shrinking however the transfer joints of solid gravity dam are not generally grouted in order to make the joints watertight keyways or water stops are invariably 
provided in the transfers joints. So in the construction joints, there is no need to provide the keys and motor stops because automatically the modern treatment of the surface and the good concrete create an automatic uh, watertight uh, in the horizontal joints. So there is uh, no need to provide any other uh, provisions in the horizontal joints, in the construction joints, in the contraction joint or again in the transfer joints, uh, we have to provide the keyways and water type so that uh, the transfer stresses which are coming through the various sections of the dam that should be avoided and that should be uh, the see, uh, leakage of the water from these joints will be prevent. So uh, uh, if you see Yes, uh, in a water stops also, we uh, have the two ordinary copper water stop, which can be provided on the upstream side of the joint, which confines a 20 centimeter drainage well, which may be filled later with melted asphalt or grouted. So this is the some of uh, the method uh, by providing and by uh, introducing the water stop, how we can control the leakage of a water or any other losses. So again, just look at that diagram. Yes, this diagram. So um, after the uh, transfer joints here, uh, the another subtype is a longitudinal joint. So these joints are, you can see here, the transfer joints are the normal, normal to the axis of a dam. And the longitudinal is the parallel to the axis of a dam. It is parallel and the transverse is the normal to the axis of the dam. And they are provided, provided because to prevent the longitudinal cracks. Transfer joints are provided to prevent the transverse uh, stresses and the cracks which are uh, caused due to the contraction of the concrete. So here... These longitudinal joints are provided to prevent the longitudinal cracks. Since these longitudinal cracks may coincide closely with the planes of a maximum shear, because shear stresses is always acts in a horizontal manner in the opposite direction uh, of the force uh, or of the um, direction of a force which is acting horizontally on the gravity dam. So, uh, it coincides with this shear stresses and these cracks are objectionable from the standpoint of safety. Uh, again, these longitudinal joints uh, run between two adjacent transfer joints. You can see here two transverse joints and in between the longitudinal joints are provided. This run between the two adjacent transfer joints. And because of this, these longitudinal joints are not continuous all along the length of a dam. You can see here. These are not continuous one. Uh, in between the two transfers, there is a one longitudinal joints. Again, in between the two, there are two longitudinal joints. So likewise, the part of a longitudinal joints are provided. It is not in a continuous manner. However, they are continuous in vertical plane, dividing the number uh, dividing the dam into a number of blocks so uh, the spacing of the longitudinal joints is also limited up to a 15 meter like a transverse joints here the keyways are invariably provided in the vertical longitudinal joints yes uh, like a transfer joints here also we have to provide the keys as well as what stops also these keyways are designed to transmit the principal stresses why these key, uh, key ways and the key stops are provided by because to transmit the principal stresses and uh, these keyways are spaced at 1.5 meter. So these are the uh, some of the information and some of the important points which are related to the construction as well as contraction joints why they are provided like a joints we have a key weights we have a uh, water stops also so generally we are discussed that uh, why the key ways are provided it are it is provided to transmit the 
uh, stresses that is even this uh, this is in, this is the principal stress or sometimes it is it should be a shearing stresses also so it it, it is provided to permit to transfer that stresses from one block to another block so what happened because of this transfer of the uh, stresses uh, the adjoining surface of each side of the joint any joints are given and are interlocked together for the trans for this transfer purpose they are interlocked so uh, this transfer process uh, will go on continuously without interrupting or without uh, doing or uh, without giving any uh, disturbances so like a keyways we have a water stop uh, as the name suggests that water stop is used to prevent the leakages of a water so sometimes it is provided on the upstream side sometimes it is provided on the uh, so not on upstream side but throughout the length and sometimes it is provided in, in the according to the normal of the ex, a normal axis of a dam so this is generally of uh, regarding joints of a gravity dam thanks for watching this video